barcode values are captured in Advanced Designer using the barcode element. I'll create this barcode element and we'll select all barcodes for capture. Note that I could deselect them all and just choose one. Barcode orientation can be specified as well. Selecting Match allows us to view the results in a hypothesis tree. Two barcodes were detected for one element, but only one value was assigned. Vantage searches from top to bottom and left to right for elements. The barcode on the right is taller than the barcode on the left, and so it was detected and assigned to the barcode element. Since I want to detect the QR barcode first, I'll make an adjustment deselect all barcode types and select the QR barcode type. Once again, I'll select Match. The QR barcode was now detected. I can clone my element by copying and pasting it. I'll modify the second element to detect any barcode. I want to look to the right of the QR barcode. I'll click on the Edit Search Area icon, select the barcode element, and click the right arrow. My search area is now depicted in yellow, and I'll match. And now we have two barcodes found. The first one is a QR code, and its value is located right here. Its exact location is located here. I'll click on the barcode 1 element and we can see this is a code 128 barcode. We see its value and the rectangle where it resides. Note that both these elements can be renamed as needed. 